The mountains are for people who rise early. Therefore, every morning, you can find me high at the top of the runs, clamping on my boots. Cap on my head, sunglasses in place, I'm ready. You like snow surfing? Then follow me. The beauty of surfing is not only for those who live on the seaside. My name's Jonathan. I'm 11 years old and I live in Verbier, Switzerland, one of the finest skiing areas in the world. When I was younger, I was convinced that we ruled the world because of our position above the clouds. Over the years, Verbier has become a popular ski resort, but it began as a tiny village where I loved to walk around. Tourists don't know the place. That's normal, because only real mountaineers like me live here. They don't know what they're missing. Don't you think all these snow-covered chalets made of wood are magnificent? And when you look real close, you see that their edges are decorated with crystal fringes that glisten in the sunlight. They're icicles. I started skiing when I was very young. However, sometimes I fell, practically suspended in air, twisting and turning down a bumpy slope at breakneck speed. But that doesn't scare me. Actually, I started snow surfing two years ago. My father, in fact, introduced me to the sport. He's an excellent surfer and I really admire him. Just take a look at him. If you want to know the truth, I have my sights set on international competition. That's why I abandoned skiing and took up surfing. Snow surfing is freedom. There are no poles and the shoes are lighter, and it requires a totally different technique. With snow surfing, like in many other sports, it's better not to think too much about it. Just do it. Otherwise, you fall flat on your face. Surtout, n'hésite pas à lancer les épaules dans le sens du virage. Tu peux même y aller avec les bras, c'est pas un problème. Ce qu'il faut surtout, c'est pas que ta planche aille dans ce sens-là, que ton épaule reste comme ça. C'est bon. Allez. My father is a great teacher. He has patience to burn, which is a must for us mountaineers. But I still have a long way to go. If you see what I mean. Look, Rudy's dressed like the Statue of Liberty today. That's the beauty of surfing. You don't have to wear a uniform. Even when you surf seriously, the object is to have a wild time. Slalom is very popular in France, but in Verbier and in Switzerland, most guys do freestyle surfing. Freestylers surf on what's called the half pipe. That's a run where you make as many jumps as you can and go as quickly as possible. This is my friend Christopher. He's older than me, but he's still a good friend. When it comes to surfing, the equipment is essential. Of course, there's a range of boards, but mine is really top quality and is good for jumps, too. Christopher has explained to me that to go from slalom to jumps, I'll have to change my shoes and my clamps. Mettre au saut, pour ça tu auras besoin des bouts. Ok, donc tu vois, c'est bien souple de côté. Devant, tu n'as aucune contrainte pour les sauts, hein, donc tu peux plier ta cheville. C'est clair avec les bouts, tu ne peux pas les employer avec les mêmes fixations. Tu es obligé d'acheter des fixations qui vont avec à bout. Didn't I tell you every surfer has a style of his own? There's every color, every pattern, and all kinds of hairstyles as well. But in general, it's always the same. That way we can recognize each other from a distance. 
I prefer an outfit that's warm and comfortable. Hey, that's not bad. It sure grabs attention. I'm not so sure about that. It makes me look like a rapper. Don't you think so? I'm on vacation right now. After surfing all morning, I'm going home to relax, read some comics, and listen to some music. A little rap, maybe, but definitely rock. Rock is the music of surfers. I even named my dog Elvis. When I was a little kid, I wanted to give him a pompadour. I greased his fur down with hair gel. Poor Elvis didn't stop barking. Staying inside all afternoon is out of the question. After lunch, I hit the slopes again. Mom reminds me that I'll have to do some homework before the vacation's over. I have to hurry up because I'm meeting Christopher and Richard. You remember, they're the two guys who run the surf equipment store. You'll see, they're real whizzes on the slopes, and I learn a lot hanging out with surfers who are better than I am. There they are over there. I see Richard. They found a good spot, a few pieces of advice, and we're off. I go first. The powder's ideal for surfing. Over here, the snow is too hard and icy but it's still good exercise for learning to stand up. I'll be able to watch them in action. First, Christopher. He's much faster than me, but that's normal. He's heavier. Wow, look at him go. He's amazing. Oops. That'll teach him to show off. It's Richard's turn now. Easy as pie for him. around Christopher has it down. He doesn't do as many tricks and his performance is excellent. Plus the run is much harder than it looks. He's really good. I'm going to try to match him. From the start I'm having a hard time keeping up with him. But what I'm able to do is super for me. I love ice hockey, to watch from the comfort of my own chair. It's a violent sport. I would love to give it a try, just to see. But if I broke my leg, I'd have to give up surfing, and that'd be a shame. Verbier may host the surfing events for the 2002 Olympics. In 2002, I'll be old enough to compete. Maybe I could win a medal in the slalom. I'd ski a great run. I'd leave all my opponents way behind. I can see myself stepping up on the podium in front of my family and my friends to receive the gold medal. Today I woke up at 6 a.m. to watch the sunrise. Didn't I tell you the mountains were beautiful? When I managed to get up this early, I go see Joseph down at the barn. He's one of the villagers. He taught me how to milk a cow. Even though there are electric milkers these days, Joseph has always refused to install one. He says that milking time is his opportunity to talk to his cows. 
That way they give him more milk. I love his stories. He's old enough to retire, but he doesn't want to abandon his animals. They mean everything to him. Apart from Elvis, Knox is the nicest dog I know. The tourists who come to Verbier don't even know that these places exist. Even though, all you have to do is knock and be nice. The old farmers are too proud of their trade to refuse to talk about it. This calf's not very old. He's really affectionate. He loves to lick you. After a big breakfast with some fresh milk, it's back on the slopes for me. The diehard surfers are already there. I wonder how long it'll be before I'm active. Hey, I know him. That's Christophe Gaillon. One of the best Swiss freestylers, a real star. All of a sudden, everyone stops what they're doing to look at him. OK, I'll try. But if I jump, I'll have to pick up some speed without running off the half pipe. <laughs> Poor excuse for a jump. I don't think I'm cut out for freestyle. Never mind. I'll go back to slalom. Wow, look at that. Christophe Gaillon wants to talk to me. That's great. He tells me how to pick up speed. There I am about to try again. If I only had enough talent that he'd want to be my trainer. Did he hear that? Christophe said that in a year or two, he'd have to watch out for me. Wow! Olympic Games 2002, watch out, here I come. I'll win a medal in the slalom and another one in jumping. Every time you're racing the race, you got to be a champion. Do it, do the best you can, succeed. So get it, need to go to take the lead. All you got to be in your life is be a champion. Run it, faster than you did before. Hold it, every time you go for more. Win it. 